was a showstopper. The service was non-denominational, addressed by a Baptist minister as well as by a rabbi, and it was attended by thousands. We have more on that tonight from NBC's Keith Morrison. They said goodbye today to Sammy Davis Jr., said it with a tap dance at his star on Hollywood Boulevard, said it by lining up at a funeral park five hours before the service. I left early this morning and just to be here. Thousands of fans clamoring to be close. Scores of television cameras. Hundreds of the famous, the most famous, who waited like everybody else, who wanted many of them to talk about Sammy. He opened the doors for so many of us in a in a modern in the modern era. And uh, his, his his loss, I mean, our loss is enormous. We're saying goodbye. It's um. It's almost like a bon voyage party. I don't want to look at it as a funeral. It was more a grateful wake than a dirge, though his eulogizers found it hard sometimes. Gregory Hines, whose mentor he was, cried. I have a very hard time with, uh, with um, celebrating and, and feeling good right now. I know that that's what we should be doing, but for me, it's, it's, uh, it's just not possible because I miss him so much already. That was Mr. Bojangles. They played his songs in the big funeral hall, sound Mr. without image, and Jesse Jackson gave a sermon. Let Mr. Bojangles rest. He has earned it. God bless you. It was a very public funeral. Davis clearly wanted it that way. And a fan watching it all said, and I think the black people lost something today they didn't realize we had. Tonight on the Strip in Las Vegas, they'll turn down the lights for 10 minutes in mourning. They have done this for John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King, and Sammy Davis Jr. Keith Morrison, NBC News, Los Angeles.